little ones, um, one of the twins, um, fell off the side and she jumped, jumped right after him and tried to get him. First tonight, heartbreak for a local family after a mother dies on a popular hiking trail trying to save her three-year-old son. This is Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. And I'm Dan Tilkin. Today, we've learned that mom is the daughter of Lisa Schroeder. Lisa is the owner of the popular Portland restaurant Mother's Bistro. The fall happened yesterday at Horse Tail Falls in the Columbia River Gorge when deputies say Stephanie Cohen and her son fell more than 60 feet off a cliff. Our Amy Frazier is following up on the story. And Amy, you got to speak with her best friend today. Tough story. I did. Uh, family and friends tell me Stephanie Cohen died doing everything she could to save her son. I'm told her three year old is doing well at the hospital. Paramedics tried to save Stephanie, but she passed away at the trailhead. Family and friends say 37 year old Stephanie Cohen was a loving, devoted mother until the very end. I believe she did save him. And what makes it interesting is she didn't pass until she knew he was okay. <laughs> and that kind of, for me, says it all. This photograph of Stephanie and her three-year-old twin son was taken during their hike at Horsetail Falls Sunday afternoon. It was an outing in the beautiful weather with her four children, her partner, friends, and family. On their way down the trail, her three-year-old son slipped. One of the twins um, fell off the side and she jumped, jumped right after him and tried to get him. Deputies say mom and son fell about 60 feet off a cliff and another 30 feet down a steep slope. Stephanie's partner rushed to get to her. Her partner was holding her and right there with her and he, she kept mumbling, you know, her son's name over and over and over again and she was able to just rest when she saw him and he was okay. Family members say she was bright, upbeat, strong-willed, and full of life. A mother willing to do anything for her children. Again, family members tell me it looks like the little boy is going to be okay. In fact, they're hoping that he'll be released from the hospital today. At the same time, though, of course, their hearts are broken that his mom is gone. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amy Frazier, Queen 6 News. Yeah.